Alhamdulillah wa salatu wa salam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam amma ba'd. Habitafillah, a sister mentioned that they were having a study circle, an Islamic study circle. And uh, what I thought was very uh, important, I thought it was a very important topic to touch on, is that this is an excellent thing. This is an excellent thing. And we see that some sisters, they have book clubs and they have all kind of other sharing things. And this fits under what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Kitab al-Kareem, وَتَعَوْنَ عَلَى بِرِّ وَتَقْوَى وَلَا تَعَوْنَ عَلَى إِثْمِ وَرْدْوَانَ That cooperate all of you in righteousness and God-fearfulness. And God-fearfulness, what does that mean? What does taqwa mean? It means to adhere to the commandments of Allah and avoid His prohibitions. And تَعَوْنَ عَلَى بِرِّ وَتَقْوَى وَلَا تَعَوْنَ عَلَى إِثْمِ وَرْدْوَانَ And do not cooperate in sinfulness and enmity and guess what what happens a lot of times when some of our sisters get together is enmity and uh, 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 sinfulness occurs and in fact don't think it's something unique to the sisters the brothers the same thing that people get together and they tao and they come together they cooperate in backbiting they cooperate in riba and namima so i just wanted to touch on this point Use for the sisters to encourage our Muslim sisters, wherever they be, whether they're in Sardia, whether they're in Yemen, whether they're in America, whether they're in Australia, whether they're in some place in Europe, whether they're in the U.S., to get together and study with your Muslim sisters. If one of you has some knowledge and something to share, this is even better. If not, you can share. There's so much material out there that you guys can share and you can have book clubs. Uh, things, statements of the ulama, just reading, just having things. Because why? Number one, this is cooperation for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Number two, it's cooperation on khair and tayyib and goodness. Number three, this is laying a foundation for you in your life. And sisters obviously will marry at some time if they're not already married. And they are the beginnings of the Muslim household and the Muslim community. Raising their children, you know, based on ilm and based on fiqh, if you have ilm and if you have fiqh. So this is a great ni'mah, min ni'amillah, that his sisters, they gain their foundations. And the third point or fourth point I want to mention is make sure that there's no kathra taqil wa qal as the Nabi and Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam prohibited. That there should not be speaking about this one, warning against this one, especially amongst the sisters. Because we know far too many gatherings of brothers, wives, and others that sometimes are more extreme than the brothers themselves. You know, I can relate many stories here in Saudi Arabia of those situations like this, Western families, and the things between the sisters, it, it amazes me that they are involved in every fitna that is going on out there. They, they have that, and this is what their husbands are teaching them, and this is what they're practicing it's practicing division, practicing isbiya, practicing blind following and partisanship instead of practicing khair and, 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 and having that ta'awun ala bidr wa taqwa. So this is another advice I would offer is to concentrate your efforts on that which is good and keep your intention sincerely for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala because this will also establish a foundation for you Later, that when you do marry, that you will have your household, bi'idnillah ta'ala, that you should keep that regularly in your household. So this ta'awun ala bidr wa taqwa and this ta'lim is very important in the Muslim household to better and bene uh, better yourself and, and benefit one another. So this brought about just, uh, I think, is a thing of, of, of immense khair, and we like to see uh, people gaining benefit. And also remember that the malaika are witnessing that. They're witnessing that gathering. And there's rahmah and mercy in that gathering. And there's ajr from Allah Azza wa Jal. And there's forgiveness in that gathering. And the Prophet alayhi salatu wasalam said, Talib al-ilm fariditun ala kulli muslim wa muslima. That seeking knowledge is a 
uh, 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 an obligation upon every Muslim man and Muslim woman, meaning you need to have basic knowledge of your religion. So don't spend all of your time just watching movies. Don't spend all of your time just doing this and doing that activity, going to the mall and shopping and this and that and wasting time and money, but try to at least devote some of your time, even if you're doing the other things, devote some of your time to reading a hadith with your family or with your friends, you know, coming together on khair and bitter wa taqwa. So this is very, very important. And this is also a way of, of seeking knowledge and fits under the hadith of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam who said, Man salaka tariqan yal talmasuhu bihi ilman sahal Allahu lahu tariqan al jannah. Whoever traverses the path of knowledge, Allah will make easy for him the path to paradise. So if sisters are coming together, Maybe they're coming across, from across town. Maybe they're neighbors. Maybe they're in the same neighborhood, hopefully. Or they're driving. Depends on where they are and all the situation. But they are, they're coming together to mention Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. To read an ayah and the tafsir of it. To come together to speak about issues of the deen and learn issues of the deen. To listen to recorded lectures of the deen. And, and, and benefit and share something with one another or through the phone or however they do it. This is khair azim. And this, there's forgiveness and there's mercy in that. And that is a form of seeking knowledge. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil and bless all of our Muslim brothers and sisters with barakah and bless us all with ilm al-nafi, ruskan tayyibu, ilm al-mutaqabbin and bless us all to go forward on khair wa sunnah wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad.